the smoothies, they help with your hormones, don't you? So if you're doing your menopausal stuff and having hot flushes, I was told that green smoothies, a daily green smoothie, would help balance your hormones. Is that right? Um, yes, I mean, it depends what you put in the smoothies, yeah. but um, you so can... So what should you put in a hormone balancing smoothie? <laughs> well, I mean, for a hormone balancing smoothie, uh, first of all, the liver balances the hormones. And so when you detox the liver, you balance the hormones. But there are certain things that balance the hormones more than other things, and there's something called maca. Have you heard yes. of maca, which is a Peruvian root vegetable, and which that, you can buy in capsule form. And you can buy it in powder, capsule, tablets, um, but you can add it to your smoothies, and that will really help to balance hormones. But also another thing that I really like to help with, with balancing hormones is fresh aloe vera. And you can buy the aloe vera gel um, in bottles, but I prefer, if you can, to buy the fresh leaf. Mm -hmm. Always fresh if you can, because that's. Where are you buying fresh aloe vera leaves? Well, there's. You can buy them in a, in in Indian shops, in Asian yes, shops, and yes. um, um, down North Central Road. You can buy them in Tooting. I know that you can buy them. You can you can actually get them quite frequently now. They're they're huge. And, and do you juice them? My my arm. No, you don't juice them because you take the peel skin off and you take the gel out of the middle and you put that in the smoothie. You can't actually juice it because it it's all kind of jelly fine. So it, it won't. We won't use very well.